Hey what's up everyone welcome to wafter.com So in this video we are going to see some cool 7 Google Easter egg tricks that you didn't know existed So let's get started Don't forget to subscribe wafter.com First one is barrel roll So uh, we have been using Google for some searches that the question that arises to our mind or something that we need to search and find a result but there are some hidden google search keywords which will bring you more than results so i'm going to search for do a barrel roll let's see what this keyword can do wow so what are you saying so you can make google search results do a barrel roll just by typing and clicking enter on do a barrel roll keyword so this is so much fun you can try this just type in do a barrel roll on google.com search bar and click enter you can also try ask you so when you do this you can see the search result page tilting a bit towards the right so you can see this one this is something weird so google have these kind of uh, different tricks inside the google search results so the next in our list is games so there are some ways to place games inside google search results uh let's try playing snake game uh yes you can play snake game inside google search results so i'm typing play snake game uh you can see this when small box where a snake and a fruit is inside and when you click play button you can see this so click on the play and using your arrow keys on the keyboard you can navigate the snake and eat the fruit the 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 vintage snake and fruit game so which you had on your nokia mobile and yes you can play this all day uh, just you have to move the arrow keys and you have to grab the fruit oops don't hit on the wall there are also multiple options where you can change the fruit and type of the difficulties and how speed you want and how bigger the maze should be and yes what not so you can also click on the dice to shuffle the options and try playing the game you can see here the snake is in different color and different fruit and you can see a, a small wall appears in between so not just snake game there are many other games inside google search results i am searching for mine sweeper one of the famous windows game that that's been gone back so you can play this here in google search results now so this cool game is to find the mines and flag them So if you want to know the rules and if you want to know more other games that you can play on Google search just click on the i card that I'm giving above on the right side. Uh you can also play solitaire and uh, many other games. So let's go to the third one, calculator. So if you don't have a calculator and you have a laptop in front of you or on your mobile phone you can use google as calculator you don't have to use your uh, built in calculator application as well so just go into google and type in what are the queries what are the numbers you have and what 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 the uh, mathematical function you want to do so i'm just typing some numbers plus 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 divided by something and you can see the result is here and you can see a calculator uh just in front of you you can do all kind of mathematical operations you can also do the scientific calculations inside this calculator by seeing the uh, sine cos and other other trigonometrical things and many other scientific functions so you can you can do all these and you also have a history option where you can see what all the things you have done previously so that's with calculator and option 4 Moving on to the fourth, you have option to flip a coin. So you are planning to play a game or planning to make a decision. You are, everyone chooses for a coin. So what if you don't have a coin in front of you? You can go to Google and you can type flip a coin. So when you flip a coin, Google will toss a coin for you and it will say you head or tail. I got tails. You can also flip the coin again. Yes, there it goes. So you don't have to wait for a coin next time. going on to the fifth option it's a spinner so what if you have more than two options like 3 4 5 6 you need a spinner wheel to pick one from that right so just type in spinner and click enter to see the spinner wheel 
so spin the wheel to get any of the one option here from the six you can also change the wheel size from 2 to 20 I'm picking 10 and you can see uh, I got 8 for the 10 options so you can try this with multiple numbers you have 2 to 20 so 20 is the maximum limit for the spinner wheel and also you have one other bonus option here so you can click on the fidget to bring a fidget spinner in front of you and you can play with that so just click on the wheel and drag it to spin it also you can click on the spin button to spin the fidget spinner yeah that's cool and yeah relaxing thing you can click on the fidget spinner again to stop it six so you're about to play a game which needs a dice a ludo or snake and ladder or something but you don't have a dice you can search for roller dice on google it will roll a dice for you so here you can see a dice which is a six faced cube so I have this option what if you need something with just four you you have uh, different symbols at the bottom of the dice you can see that so click on the dice it will remove and then if you click on any other option to get that so I picked the eight option one the octane so and now I'm choosing the 20 faces one you'll get one from the 20 so this is again like the spinner wheel so what if you want more than 20 in your option so you can click on any other uh, symbol so I picked cube again so now it's 26 so I got 18 out of 26 now 17 out for 26 now 6 for 26 22 for 26 so yes yeah, this is how this is how you can play with the optional numbers you can add number to the total as well so in case during the games you need to add them to the points one bonus thing is you can search for random number on google so which will give you whatever option you want you can set a limit from minimum to maximum and you can get a random number out of that you can also make it to lakhs so seventh one is converter so we might be wondering to convert some measurements in our day to day life so like from centimeters to meters and uh, like kilograms to milligrams so there are a lot of things that we need to calculate and convert in our daily life so here are some few things that you can do with google you can just straight away search for it so i'm searching for one kg to pound and you got the answer i'm searching for one liter of water to kg does that work no it's not working so you can't do these kind of things so I'm trying for 1 liter to milliliter that will work for sure yes 1 liter to ml so you have this conversion in your google search itself so you don't have to install any specific application for this so yeah these are the tricks thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe after.com for many more google tricks and many different options and for your internet hacks. Thank you.